Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is again on new window DAX function. Today we are going to further explore index function. Um, it will be extension to the previous video which I did on the index function. Uh, the link of that video is in the description of this video. Do check that out. Let's get to Power BI and learn how this index function can be used. So here in Power BI, in previous video, um, what I showed is how to get the top sales by each category, the color which is top uh, sold color and then the share of the top selling color. Now this gives us the amount of the top selling color, not the name of the top selling color. If we want the name of the top selling color, uh, we need to uh, just get the name of the color from the index function. Let, let me show you. Uh, how we can do that. Let's make a copy of our existing buyer which we use for top sales by color and then we can uh, tweak that buyer uh, to get the name of the color. Let's call it top sales. Let's top sales color name by category. So what we have here is already we are taking the um, some sales. Let's remove that. Just remove everything and we will keep the index function. In this measure, what we are doing is index, we are getting the top uh, uh, color and then uh, we are getting the top color based on the sum sales. Um, now we want the name of the color. What we can easily do here is select columns and column name which is color the reason why this would work because this index will give us a table with the product category name because we are grouping by product category and also by color and then the sum sales so we will it will return three columns uh, product category color and sum sales so we are getting the color because that's what we are interested in and if we use this function now if we try it, so there's no error. Let's bring this quest, um, new uh, measure in the visualization. When we use this measure in the visualization, we are getting the error. Let's see what the error is. The error says a table of multiple values was supplied where a single value was expected. So it, because this is not returning a scalar value, because we cannot use a table, because this is returning a table and we cannot use a table in our visualization. So why it is returning a table? That's the first question because we are using the top index one means always we're getting the first um, row based on under each category. So why this is returning a, a table? So to check that what we can do is let's wrap this in account rows instead of using this select color and remove this for now. And let's see, sorry, count rows. So if you see for each category, we are getting the one number only. So it means it's only returning one row, which is great. Uh, again, because we are getting one row, because we use the index and the absolute position is one, and that's how we want it to be. But the challenge is when we have the total, it is returning 17 rows, because at this point it is returning a, all the product category queries and the color of each category and the sum sales. And that is the problem. So what we need to do is we still need to go back, select column, uh, select columns, and then we get the color. What we can do now is we can wrap this as in uh, uh, has one value, or there's many ways how we can check. So if has one value, product category, then only we return the name of the color otherwise we don't do it means we when we are at the total row it will not return anything if we really want to return the all the color concatenated at the at the total we can always do that but uh, that's not the requirement right now so if we check now what we're getting is we're not getting any error but what we're getting is we're getting the top selling color by each category 
and now we also have the amount of the top selling color and the share of the top selling color so this is pretty straightforward and just say uh, uh, we need to make sure that how to handle that error message because when multiple rows are returning what we can do we can use the concatenate axe if we want it to and then at the total row it will concatenate all the colors together but i think that is not going to be very useful now the next business question might be okay you know we got the colors by each category how about we want to find out if how many times black is the top color or blue is the top color so in this particular case if we see the black is top color by two times uh, for gloves and shorts blue is the top color two times multi is two time and na is x number of times and so forth so on so if next business question is find out how many time each color is the top color we need to create another mayor now we have a we know the top color by each category and now we need to count this mayor so what we need, will do let's add another mayor here let's make a copy of this mayor and then uh, add another mayor let's call it uh, top so we're doing the count in this particular case what we need to do here is we can remove all this we don't need this so we at this internal index function is giving us the color by each category that's what we are interested in and what we need to further enhance this uh, why i'm getting this error oh sorry because i've removed um, select columns sorry about that we still need that so this gives us the color for each category and uh, so this returns that a, a table of uh, colors by each category what we can do is let's uh, store this in a variable i'm going to minimize it a little bit and what we need to do is we need to find out um, how many colors are in this table um, and group it by basically by those those colors so color is already a dimension keep in mind color is a part of the product dimension so what we can easily do here is we can say count rows we can use intersect and just there is a video on the intersect i will post the link for that video i'm not going to explain here basically what it is return the rows of left side table which appear in the right side table our left side table is going to be top colors and our right side table is going to be uh, product color so this will give us the distinct color um, what we have in our product table and whatever the colors are in top colors comes out uh, the intersect will just give us only those rows and then those and then we will count the rows let's visualize this uh, measure in a, a in a table visual so what we will do is we'll pick the color from our product table and then we will have a the, the measure which we added just now top selling color here you go so what we have is um, we have a black sold two times being its uh, top color blue is uh, top color two times multi is two times and is six now the next question is if i want to find out if i click on any of these color it should show me only those category where that color is the top color let's see if that works if i click on red i get road bikes and helmets which has the top color red and that seems like working if we go na it's a six time being the top color and uh, we are getting the six top categories and if i click on blue uh, blue has been sold top selling category two times color two times but here i am seeing it three rows now that seems wrong to me in our next video we will learn why the table on the left hand side is not getting filtered when i'm selecting a color in my right hand side table it seems like it worked for some of the colors but not as soon as we selected blue color it did not work 
We will further tweak our measures to make this all interactive. Stay tuned. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching.